Hey guys, what's up? So we have a cool video today. We're doing an unboxing video. Um, this is going to be a budget shotgun kind of video. So this is the, uh, it was a Dickens and Arms gun. It's called the Tactical Commando Series. Alright, so we're going to unbox it. I'm pretty excited to have it. Um, well, obviously I've seen one that I picked out, but this is the brand new one, so I haven't opened it yet. And we got this at Bud's Gun Shop. And in the comments right now, I want you to tell me when you see this how much you think it costs before. And so I'll tell you how much it costs in a sec. So it looks like right off the bat we got a nice hard case to come with, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got the Dickinson logo on it and it's got it on the back side too, which is kind of cool. Um, so it comes with a case for the price. That's included in everything. We're gonna open it up. All right, so we got a little booklet, and this is the user manual. Uh, I think all the new guns are supposed to come with that. And this is the 12 gauge. We got an 18 and a half inch barrel on here. Uh, I think it holds five plus one. Yeah, five plus one is what it holds. And then you got the Dickinson logo here. You got it here. And then it also has the little cover thing on here. Uh, the reason I really liked it, uh, the whole, whole reason I got it, I really liked how this pump thing was set up. You can see it's very uh, long. It's kind of tactical looking. Um, you got a good little soft pad here to try to absorb some of the kick because this is a, uh, what's it called? This is a, a plastic stock. There's a name for it. I forgot what it was called. Anyway, this is the same material as the stock. And... The stock's not hollow, it's, it's got some like foam in it, so it's not like hollowed out or anything. You got a good side on here. You can see it's a pretty thick side, it's not just a little BB like most would come with. And also, you already have the things to be able to do your, uh, your sh put your strap on here. So, what do you guys think I paid for this thing? Uh, this is going to be a budget shotgun video. We were going to take it out the range and unbox it at the range, but unfortunately it is, it's been raining all day out there, so we weren't able to go and do it. So I thought I'd do the unboxing video because we'll be busy for the next few days, so I'm not going to be able to post the video and I was really excited about this. So you got the fire safety select right here. And then obviously, if it's uh, already cocked and the hammer, the pin or whatever's back, you have to press this button right here to cock it back. It's actually pretty smooth because I did look at a few of them um, before I got this one. And believe it or not, this here shotgun was cheaper than the brake barrels. This was the cheapest shotgun and it was brand new. $129. Uh, that's without the tax included. Tax included, it was like right at $150. So I'm going to challenge you guys to try to find a nicer looking shotgun for $129 or less. And the reason we're going to do the tax not included on the challenge is because if you kind of include tax, it's all kind of different in different places. So it's just, it's just complicated. So the, the, just the regular price. So this one was $129. So I want you guys to try to find something cheaper. And show me, this one was at Bud's Gun Shop. We just got it literally yesterday. And I um, thought I'd do the video on it today and unbox it with you guys. Um, anyway, we're going to do a video on some shooting and stuff with it. But unfortunately, today it's raining, so I probably won't be able to get, get around to it. But anyways, guys, so 129 bucks, you get the shotgun and a hardcover case. My M&P, which was a little over $400, uh, didn't even come with a case. It just came in the, a foldable cardboard box, just you know, basically throw it in there and some cardboard holding it. Um, this one comes in the good package. It is kind of nice that for the price, they still included a hard case like this. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I think it's made a pretty good shotgun, but we're going to go test it out here hopefully soon. Uh, anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. We have tons of videos, and we will definitely have some videos out on this thing doing uh, field tests with it. Like I said, sorry, originally I wanted to unbox this and then I start shooting it and stuff. But unfortunately, with all the rain, I'm not going to get to do that today. But anyways, like, subscribe. Thanks, guys.